The movie that you're about to watch was not produced with a multi-million dollar budget, but it was put together by people that are committed to truth. As you watch this program, you will discover a conflict raging between what is popular and what is right. That conflict has been going on for thousands of years, and it is going on right now at this very moment. How do we know what is right, what is true? The only way is by actually picking up a copy of God's book for ourselves and reading to see what he says instead of what man's opinions are. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 32, he said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. And it is our hope and our prayer that as you learn what you're about to learn, that it will actually free you and bless you. So sit back and enjoy and get ready for the quest. Hello? Good morning, Mia. Hey, sweetie. How are you? I'm doing fine. Are you ready? Uh, I'm always ready. Hey, I'll be there to pick you up around 10.30, okay? What about Jennifer and Patrick? Have you talked to them? Well, I spoke to Patrick last night. He said he'll meet us at the usual place. He's on uh, his way to pick up Jennifer right now. Good. I'll call Jennifer when I get up. Oh, hey. I've got something. Oh, what is it? It's a little something. It's something special for a special lady. Really? I can't imagine. What is it? You'll see when I get there. Rob, you know you're special to me, don't you? Of course. I can't think of anyone else that could even come close to you. Your special personality. Your eyes. Your smile. Your... Rob. You better get going or we're both going to be late. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hey. Remember. I always remember. 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 I'll see you soon, okay? In the headlines again, the state capitol has agreed to a compromise over the removal of the Ten Commandments monument. The monument has been on display in the capitol for more than 50 years. District Attorney Bryson says that this compromise... Wow, you've certainly worked hard on this one. Ah, uh, yes, Ingrid. This one is very important.
morning, sir. Top of the morning to you, young man. Can I help you with something? Yes, I'm Rob. I spoke to you a few days ago. Ah, yes. I have it ready for you. Great. Are you kidding me? Is that it? I just finished it for you last night. Wow, that is so beautiful. She is going to love this. Hello? Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Nia. I am so on cloud nine. Well, you ought to be. Happy birthday, Nia. Thank you, Jennifer. Say, you don't think Rob forgot, do you? Oh, no. You know, we have this thingy for remembering each other's birthday and other special times between us. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, when one of our birthdays gets close, we always use the word I am so crazy about Rob. Hey, how do you think you did on that philosophy test? Hey, let's leave school alone for just one day. I bet Rob has a surprise for you. Hey, wait a minute. I think Patrick is here. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, bye. All right. You look great, and I'm doing great, by the way. Thank you. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Hey, we still have a few minutes. You want to sit down for a little bit? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> okay. No peeking, okay? No peeking. Now hold your hand out. No, the other way, silly. Okay, I'm sorry. No peeking. Whoa, it's so beautiful. Oh, what is that tiny writing? Do you like it? Do I like it? It's wonderful. Whoa, it's got, it's a Ten Commandments. With all this talk lately about the Ten Commandments, I thought you would like it. And look, one of the commandments starts with the word, remember. This is wonderful. Happy birthday, Mia. Thank you. This is too awesome. You remembered. I love my new bracelet. And you know what else, Rob? What? I love you. Are you guys okay? Uh, no, I think she has a broken arm. <laughs> All right, uh, I need you guys to go ahead and sit tight. Uh, call the ambulance and should be on its way pretty quick. Uh, 
Uh, ma'am, I believe these are yours. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yes, Patrick. She broke her arm. She's going to be all right, but just make sure to meet us over there at the hospital, okay? All right. Thanks a lot. Rob, look, there's one of the commandments missing from the bracelet. It probably fell off during the accident. Missing. We'll find it, okay? I hope so. hurt so bad. Oh, man. We passed by the car on the way over here. And Rob, what were you thinking? You could have been killed, you know. I'll be okay. It just has spoiled a perfectly good birthday. Rob did remember. Look. Oh, wow. Oh, that is awesome. It's beautiful. What is this tiny writing? Well, it was the Ten Commandments. Now it's just the Nine Commandments. What do you mean? One of the commandments got lost in the car crash. I don't know which one. Wait a minute. I've seen that movie somewhere before. Last semester in film class. Here, let me see that. Maybe I can find out which one it is. Nope, don't have a clue. Sorry. Hey guys, let's get out of here. We'll find out which one we lost, okay? On the way back, we could go to that Christian bookstore. You know, the one on Main Street, right? I'm sure someone there can help us out, Mike. I'm sorry, I'm so much trouble today. You're not trouble. You're my girl. Okay, are we going? Hey guys, come over here. What you got? Look at it. Is that the Ten Commandments? Here, let me see. And 
Oh wow. There's something I never noticed before. They seem to be numbered. Well, duh. That should make it easy. Okay, which was lost? Well. <laughs> seems like I should have known. Which one? It's the fourth commandment. The commandment with the word remember in it. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Stop. Guys, I never knew that commandment had that much writing. But it makes sense. You give me this beautiful bracelet, of which I love, for my birthday. And wouldn't you know it, the one with our keyword is the one that is lost. The one with the word remember is the one that is lost. When I was a little girl, I can remember asking my mother something about that commandment, and it was on my birthday. What I wanted to know was, if Saturday is the seventh day, why does everyone go to church on Sunday, the first day? You know, I always wanted to know why. That's it. The university signed this research project coming up. Why don't we do it on the Sabbath? I mean, I've always been curious about it. Prof, you're a genius. That sounds good to me. But I found this book, it talks about uh, the Ten Commandments. What's it called? The, the Great Con Contra Controversy? Controversy. Controversy. Here, I got it. Hey guys, I got it! Wait up! Think about that bracelet I gave me. I don't like it. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like it. It's it, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, uh, what's all this business about? We can use this in your presentation. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got it. I can make several slides for the presentation while you're up there, and I can put it in the background. That's a good idea. I like it. Yeah. We'll plan all this out. And wow, that's a really good idea. I like it. Okay. Papers are due this Wednesday by 4 o'clock p.m. And don't forget the test on Friday. And by the way, late papers are not going to be accepted unless you have an excuse from a hurricane or a flood. <laughs> okay, class dismissed. Look, I'll just, I'll see you later.
Dr. Weller. In your other class, you taught us that church traditions are important and that many church traditions are as good as written in stone. Dr. Weller, I'm concerned about this research project my group has selected. They want to study the Sabbath. And you've always taught us that subjects, like those of the Sabbath, are very controversial and divisive and need to be left alone. Mm. Mia and Rob are so popular. I just don't want to see them get hurt. Hmm. I know what you mean. In the past, we've had very serious debates come up on this campus over this subject, and there seems to be no end. And we always end up losing students over it as well. See if you can change their minds. Suggest some other topic. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's great. Hmm. Well, I heard he got her a bracelet. A bracelet with the Ten Commandments. Oh, please. I am so sick of all this romantic stuff. You know what I mean? Not all lovey-dovey. Who wants that? Yeah, right, Jennifer. You're just jealous. Well, if it isn't lover boy himself. Jennifer. Well, lover boy, are you going to tell me what you're working on? story, but as a result, we have decided to enter the university research project. Jennifer and Patrick will be helping too. Great! Awesome! Awesome! I must be a part of you guys' team. Uh, what's the topic? No, I don't think so. It's pretty secret stuff. Alex, you can work with us, but we can't tell you what we're working on. But, wait, but, oh, but how am I supposed to work on a research project when I don't even know what we're researching for? Okay, guys. This is very controversial stuff. So we must use the strictest confidence while researching. Mew. I want you to research the fourth commandment. Find out what they mean when they use the word remember, okay? Sure. Jennifer. Look, you guys, I'm just not convinced this is something we should be researching on. There's so many other subjects we could be doing, like car accidents. Right. You know, hundreds of students die every year from car accidents. And we've had our fair share. No. This is a list of the books that we'll be needing. I'm gonna stop by later and check them out. And on my way, I'm gonna stop by the archive if anybody wants to go with me. I'll check the internet and see what I can find. Okay. Sounds great. Let's get to work, you guys. Hey, guys! Where are you going? What? Wait, what, what's going on? What's, but guys. Alex. I, Alex, what? I said you can help, and I mean it. How about you come here to the library later and just meet with Rob? In the library? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, but what's my job? Well, hello, Jennifer. Hey. Did you have any success? No, not at all. The subject is deeper than just the Sabbath. 
It has to do with Mia and Rob. Oh, but I do have something for you. Here, this might be beneficial. Here are the list of the books that we'll be using. Well, thanks. <laughs> I see. Look, Jennifer, if they start poking around in the Sabbath, there could be trouble. And we don't want that, do we? No, no we don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just so confused. Well, well, think of it this way. I've seen you guys together. You like your friends, don't you? You're great friends. You have a great relationship. What would happen if they were asked to leave the university? What would you do then? I wonder how many stars there are. It's such a beautiful night. Why don't people keep the Sabbath? Our country is the most enlightened nation in the world. Why would they hold on to Sunday, a day that God never made holy? Hmm. That's a good question. I think people prefer their popular customs and ideas rather than something that is unpopular like the Sabbath. Listen to this. The opinions of learned men, the deductions of science, the creed or decisions of ecclesiastical councils, as numerous and discordant as are the churches which they represent, the voice of the majority, not one nor all of these should be regarded as evidence of or against any point of religious faith. Before accepting any doctrine, we should demand a plain, thus says the Lord, in its support. Whoa, that's true. We cannot just accept something just because everyone else is doing it. Rav, what are we going to do? Good morning, staff. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming. We have just a little business to care for today, but first, Dr. Weller has an important item. Well, thank you. There's been a lot of excitement surrounding this university research project, but there is one group that when they research theirs, they're going to bring us some trouble. What is the topic of their project? Well, they've chosen to research the Sabbath. What? Who do they think they are? What are they trying to do? Did anyone give them any guidance? Well, didn't you try to direct them to subject that's a little less divisive? Yes, I've been talking to one of the group members, trying to persuade them to pick another topic, but, oh, I, I've got a list of books that they're going to be using to do their research on. I'd like to see these books. Could you go to the library and ask the library and pull these books for me and wait? Uh, tell her to close the archives until I can talk to her tomorrow. Every time this subject comes up, it has some kind of enchantment. We cannot afford to lose more students. We must stop them. Sir, could I make a suggestion? Chaplain, sir, would you please pass that to Dr. Weller? Mm -hmm. 
As your leader, I must admonish you of your important responsibility. Our traditions and ways are of utmost importance and we cannot allow these heresies to creep into our ranks. We had received these warnings some time ago that this issue could become agitated among us. And now we're seeing it happen right before our eyes. Now you heard me ask for the archive to be closed. This is where some of our most protected secrets are kept. I will have the archive arranged tomorrow so that these documents cannot be disturbed by any student's prying eyes. Can I help you? Yeah, we were needing to get into the archive. I'm sorry, the archive is closed. Well, can't you just let us in for a little bit? We need I'm to sorry, it's closed. Excuse me. Rob, what are you doing? Like, what is this research project about? Why are you being so secretive? Can I trust you? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm researching the Sabbath. <gasps> what? No, no, no. No, no, no. You you can't. This impossible. Th this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew I shouldn't have told you. Call Patrick, see what he's able to find. Hello? Hey Patrick, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Not much. Hey, uh, I'm calling you to see if you found that information. Yeah, I did actually. Oh yeah? Well, I guess you heard. Heard about what? Mm. Well, the archives is closed today. Man, just when I was trying to get some information. Rob! Too, get off Rob. me. What? Oh, if you wait a minute, I can, I can get you inside the library and the archives. Just a minute, Patrick. What? I can get you inside the library and the archives. Alex. I know the codes. Stop playing. Hey, Patrick, meet us at the park bench in two minutes, okay? All right. See you in a bit. So can you do it or not? Well, I work part-time for Dr. McLeod. And after working with him for so long, I'm pretty sure I know the codes by now. <laughs> Why did I just tell you that? Now I'm crazy. We're all going to get in trouble. Big trouble. You just gotta find out what's in there. Oh. Hey, Patrick. Well, what's up? Not much. Well, anyway, for some reason, the library at Arca was quickly closed today just when we're about to do some research. Do you know what's going on? Well, what are we here for? Well, our dear friend Alex here says he's got the codes to get into the library, into the archive. No way, man. Uh uh. See, no what way. did I tell you? No way. Well, you guys with me or not, I've got to find out what's in there. This isn't work for chickens. All right. But, but if we get caught, 
Bark, 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 bark. We get fried. Let's go, chicken boy. the game last night? Oh, man, you should have seen it. That boy's got talent. You should have seen when once he got the ball in his hands, you should have seen him go. Man, but he's weak on his right side. No, he's not. That boy can throw the ball a mile. So how's that? We're here, let's do this. Hurry it up. Hmm, where to start? Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran. Hey, look at this. What do you got? A file called um, Catholic Catechism. Catechism. Catechism? Let me see that. Oh, wow. Is that all we need? Hey, Alex, come look at this. <laughs> no, I'm not. I let you in. I'm not touching anything. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, look at this, Alex. Look what I got. Let me, see. got. let me see. Let me see. Let's go. The Sabbath. Like this. Hmm. Let's look a little bit more. I gotta go check on that building right now. All right, I'll check on this one. Take care.
What's up, guys? How are y'all? How y'all doing? Patrick, where's Jennifer? Oh, she said that um, she'll be late, so just go on right ahead. Okay. You know, this whole thing is so fantastic. Why couldn't we see it all along? Yeah. Wow, Rob. Where did you find this document? Mm, don't ask, don't tell? Uh, Patrick. Jennifer's been acting weird. Do you know what's going on? What? Don't see no difference. Guys, when we go in there, we don't have to present everything we've got. We have most of it on disk, so they can do their own study. Rob, you're so smart. If they do their own study, then they'll understand it a lot better. That's the idea. Okay, guys, that's it. Take a look at the statistics relating to occupations with the newest jobs. Now remember, it is your strengths and interests that will help you find your educational path. Thank you. Thank you everyone for your participation in this year's University Research Project. The judges will meet and post the scores later today. Isn't there one more presentation? Oh, not at this time. All the accepted entries have already been presented. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, our group has been totally overlooked. Well, that's enough, Rob. Rob, Rob, we want Rob. Mia, if you and the others are joining. <clears throat> we actually took on this subject literally by accident, as you could see. The subject of the Sabbath seems to be very controversial around here, but I don't know why. We should always be in search for the truth. And in our research, we found that God said, remember, for we have forgotten. You see, me and I have this thing in between us that help us remember things, like birthdays and other special times between us. Surely the God of the universe knew what he was doing when he used the word remember on the command that tells us not to forget his Sabbath. Mia? I got it. You'll know that I have broken my arm as a result of an accident on my birthday. Well, this broken arm has resulted in the discovery of a broken and lost commandment. 
No, not the one that you heard that I lost off my bracelet. But the real commandment, the one that God said to remember. In the Random House Dictionary, we find that remember means to recall to the mind by an act or effort of memory, something that is in your memory but not necessarily on your mind at the time, but you can remember it. To recollect, refer to, bringing back before the conscious mind things which exist in the memory. Yes, just as Ralph and I used the word remember to help us not to forget each other's important times, so it is with God. He used the word remember so that we from week to week would not forget his holy time. The Sabbath is not what we thought. What do I mean by that? You may think the Sabbath refers to Sunday. No, not at all. It could only refer to one day of the week. You see, God in his wisdom number the days rather than naming them. Man has attempted to tamper with this calendar, the work week, but the weekly cycle remains constant. Can I have six ladies to make a little demonstration real quick here? Six ladies. Thank you, thank you, don't be shy. Mia, you too, I need your help for this. Now the ladies here represent a different day of the week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh one is special. Aww. Thank you, ladies. We were very curious as to why Sunday is presented as the Sabbath, when in fact it is only the first day of the week. This seemed to be in direct opposition to what the commandment says. The seventh day is the Sabbath. While we were doing this research, we found some pretty interesting language that is not only found in the fourth commandment, but reappears in the book of Revelation. Listen to this. I found this in the Bible. Exodus chapter 20, verse 11 says, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Okay, now over here in Revelation chapter 14, this chapter has to do with three angels that are giving some pretty serious warning messages to the people of earth. Listen to this language, verse 7. Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come. And worship Him that made heaven and earth, the sea and the fountains of waters. Wow! This is talking about worship. And here we see the same wording in the fourth commandment. You know what? This is actually the seal of God. His name, His office, and territory are always in the ruler's seal. Like the seal of the President of the United States, the seal gives validity to God's law, the Ten Commandment Law. One day worship will be forced by law, and you better believe they won't be forcing you to keep God's Sabbath. They will enforce Sunday worship by law. Listen to this. We found this in our university archive. Question. Have you any other way of proving that the church has power to institute festivals or precepts? Answer, had she not such power, she could not have done that in which all modern religionists agree with her. She could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day, a change in which there is no scriptural authority. Now pay special attention to this. The Catholic Church, by virtue of her divine mission, changed the day from Saturday to Sunday. If we consulted the Bible only, we should still have to keep the Sabbath day holy. That is Saturday. 
John Lux, A Course in Religion for Catholic High Schools and Academies, Volume 1. Two examples from our own archive. I want to encourage each and every one of you not to take what's given to you without thorough examination and research. Now we have lots more information here to share with you. We'll let you see whatever you want. Do your own research and you'll find out that God's Sabbath, the true day of worship, is still in effect. Rob? Jennifer? I found the missing commandment. Mia, here it is. <laughs> Yeah, he's here. Yeah, Alex, this is for you. Really? Yeah. Hello? Hi, Rob. Uh, yeah. Yes, I know. I, I know. No, I won't be late. I know. Yes, I have it. Yes, I have it. It's, it's right here. I'm looking right at it. I have in my hand here a copy of a book that might be considered one of the primary documents. If you search into the archives, you can find your own copy. If you can't find one, you can get it from our ministry at whitehorsemedia.com. The book is called The Convert's Catechism of Catholic Doctrine. It was published in 1946, and it has the imprimatur of the Vatican on it. On page 50, under the heading of the Third Commandment, it says, question, what day is the Sabbath day? Answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question, why then do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. That's an amazing statement from the Catholic Catechism. Now, this is what uh, man says. This is what the church says. And this is what the majority today are actually following it uh, even though they don't really realize that. In my right hand, I have a copy of the Bible. This is what God says. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 8, he says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And if you look at all ten of the commandments, there's only one commandment that starts out with the word remember. And that's this commandment, which is really the fourth commandment. The Catechism says it's the third, but the Bible reveals that it's the fourth. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath, not of the Jews, but of the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work. And then verse 11 gives the reason why God gave us the Sabbath in the first place. The Bible says, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and he rested on the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and he made it holy. The Bible says the Lord did this, and God wrote, wrote this with his own finger on stone. One of the amazing truths 
of the New Testament when you actually uh, read it for yourself is that Jesus Christ was not just a baby born in Bethlehem. He was not just a normal human being, but he was actually the maker of heaven and earth. It says that in the book of John chapter 1 verse 10 and also in Colossians 1 verse 16. And what that means is, is that Jesus Christ is really the one that made the earth in six days. He's really the one that rested on the seventh day. He's the one that blessed the Sabbath and made it holy. And if you put the pieces together, it was really the same finger that wrote the law of God on stone, that wrote about the Sabbath and all the other commandments. That finger was on a hand that was nailed to a cross 2,000 years ago. In other words, it was Jesus that made the world. It was Jesus who gave us the Sabbath. It was our Creator who died for us on the cross. I've been keeping the Sabbath for 27 years, and now I'm married with a little baby boy. He is 20 months old to date. His name is Seth, and he just loves when the Sabbath comes. My wife and I and other church friends, we get together, and he goes to what we call cradle roll. And it's very exciting to me as a father to watch this little boy, little by little, the dawning of intelligence. He learns, he's learning about creation week, about God making the world in six days and resting on the seventh. And then we hold hands and we pray a special uh, prayer, asking God to give us the Sabbath blessing. And it's been a wonderful experience for me to discover the Sabbath and to keep it. We hope that you will read about it, that you'll study it for yourselves, that you will Trust God to give you grace and strength to do what's right, no matter what is popular and no matter what the rest of the world or even the rest of the church is doing, but you will follow what he says. And if you do, I promise you, as uh, the fourth commandment concludes with the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it, I promise you that if you will step out and do what's right by his grace and through his strength, that he will bless you and your family and prepare you for heaven. Amen.